Okay, Fabiana, answer the question, please. I eat never tacos. Uh -huh. I, okay, I never eat tacos, okay? There we have, next question. Daniela uh, Zapata, please, you're gonna ask the next, the next question to Fabiana. Um, excuse me, Fabiana, how often do you eat burger? Mm -hmm. Great. I once a week eat burger. Uh -huh. You say I eat burger once a week, okay? Come on, Fabiana, one more time. I eat burger once a week. I eat burger uh, once a week. Okay, great. Now, Sayuri, please, you're going to ask the next question to Fabiana about pizza. How often do you eat pizza? Mm -hmm. I eat pizza once a month. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, um, please, uh, Gabancho, you are going to ask uh, Fabiana the next, the final question about pasta. Okay, Gabancho? Yeah, where is Gabancho? My God, Gabancho disappeared. Lo preguntamos y salió esfumado, Gabancho. Another student, uh, Mirabal, please Mirabal, you're gonna ask the, uh, the question to Fabiana. How often do you eat pasta? Mm -hmm. Excellent, Fabiana. I eat pasta once a year. Okay, excellent. Yeah, then we have here you know, the information about Myself and the information about Fabia. Okay, you must do this in your books too. Say something to make it another information in your book. Okay, yeah, about uh, the eating habits, about Fabiana's eating habits and yourself eating habits. Yeah, okay, one minute to, to, to complete this part. Then we have to continue with the next part. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's, it's clear, right? What do you have to do? Now, let's go to the workbook part, students, yeah? Let's go to the workbook part. We have something else to do on this part, yeah? Mm -hmm. There it is, new friends. Oh my God, we are here. On food, right? Hmm. All of these parts now. Okay, we have to do this part now. Let's go to the workbook part, students. Ya vamos a nuestro workbook. What page is for you? For me, it says page number 53. Ustedes también tienen esa numeración? 53. Yes, 53. Excellent. Let's go to the workbook. Yeah, vamos al workbook. Page number 50, 53. Mm -hmm. We have an activity here that says something interesting. Okay. I think everyone is here. Page number 53. It says, Read the text, yeah, read the text, then label the pictures with the correct underlined foot. Okay, we have here, we have here, uh, I think this is going to be uh, the homework for you. Yeah, le voy a dejar como homework porque esta es una actividad bien sencilla. ¿Qué es lo que vas a tener que hacer? Ahora te lo explico. Vas a tener que leer el texto. El texto que tenemos aquí y luego te dice label the picture with a correct underline words. Vamos a tener que etiquetar o vamos a tener que escribir. For example, ¿no? tenemos aquí dumplings, eh, sushi, spaghetti, hot dog, hamburger, no, etc. Yeah, and you have to uh, you have to label. For example, says no. Eh, 
sometimes it's difficult to eat out with my friends. Everybody likes different kinds of food. My friend jo uh, John loves Asian food. He likes dumplings. No? For example, you have to see which one of these are dumplings. Buscamos aquí y luego we have to label the dumplings. No? Ponemos el nombre dumplings. Then you continue reading, no? And, and he really likes sushi. You look on this part, which one of these is sushi? ¿Cuál será sushi? Ya, yeah, de esa manera. Todas las que están subrayadas. Ok, estas las vamos a utilizar para poder para poder completar los espacios que tenemos en la parte inferior. ¿no? For example, aquí está hot dog y también lo encontramos aquí, hot dog. ¿Ya? Entonces, this is going to be like a homework for you. ¿Ya? Esto les voy a dejar como homework. I'm going to write here. ¿Ya? Uh, this is going to be page number 53. ¿Ya? Your secondary fourth homework, page 53. Activity. Esta solo tiene una, una actividad, activity one. ¿Ya? Entonces, ustedes también en estos momentos pueden ir de pronto subrayando, encerrando en un círculo, ¿no? Acá, escribiendo homework here, etc. Para que no te olvides que tienes homework en esta parte, ¿ya? Now, let's go back to our students book. Vamos a nuestro students book nuevamente. ¿Ok? And now, let's go to page number 72. Ustedes tienen la misma numeración aquí, 72. Yes. Sí, profesor. Yes, right? Okay, 72 is for you too. Now we are going to talk about this topic. This topic that says savory foods. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It says here, savory food. What are we going to do? This is a reading, okay? This is a reading. It says, look at the picture in the magazine article. Can you name the food? For example, we have here, no? This is the, the magazine article. And let's see. Do you know those foods? For example, what's this? Do you know? What's this? Nachos. Okay, very good. It seems to be like nachos, right? What about these? Do you know what are these? Dumplings. Okay, it looks like dumplings. What about this? Hmm? Ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. Cream. Be... Ice cream. Ah, ah, right. Seems to be ice cream. Uh, what else we have here? What do you think are these? Pancakes. Pancakes. Okay, okay. Pancakes. probably they're pancakes, no? Yeah. We're going to do this. Read the article. Okay. Read the article. What's the best title? Okay, for you, what could be the best title? We have here meal times, my favorite food, or dinner around the world. Okay, uh, please, you are gonna read. Um, uh, let me see, we have here the listening. Yeah, okay, one moment. Yeah, there it is. So, pay attention, students. Lesson D Favorite food. Page 72. Exercise 1. Reading. Letters from our readers. I love nachos. I make them once a week. I just buy some tortilla chips and put cheese, beef, tomatoes, and onions on top. Then I cook it in the microwave. Heather, United States. I like dumplings a lot. You can buy good dumplings in restaurants, but I usually eat my mother's dumplings. They're delicious. I eat them for lunch four or five times a month. Jason, South Korea. My wife and I go to our favorite ice cream shop three times a month. They have many flavors but we always get chocolate ice cream. It's our favorite. Carlos, Argentina. I really like pancakes, but we don't eat them for breakfast. We eat them after dinner. We usually eat them two or three times a month. I like to eat them with jam. Olga, Sweden. Okay, what do you think should be the best title? 
Mm -hmm. What do you think for this article? Meal times, my favorite food, dinner around the world. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Any ideas? What do you think? What do you think? Any ideas, students? Nobody? Best title, the best title. Hmm? My favorite food? Do you don't have any idea? Meal times, my favorite food, dinner around the world. For example, we can say that. What? What? Meal times. Meal times, okay, could be meal times, right? My favorite food, my favorite food. My favorite food too, right? But we know for sure dinner around the world, no dinner around the world, right? Because we are not talking about dinner, okay? We are talking about food, okay? Uh, well, if we talk about food, we talk about meal times, we're talking about a uh, breakfast lunch and dinner no but we're talking about breakfast lunch and dinner i don't think so right everyone is telling for example i love nachos i like dumplings no go to our favorite ice cream shop no uh he said for example no uh it's our favorite no i really like pancakes you know everyone is talking about here favorite no and what should be the best title for this article? My favorite food. Okay, so please, everybody check here. My favorite food. Yeah, you know, everyone is talking about favorite, right? Now, let's go to the next activity. What says here, no? Read the article again, complete the chart with the correct information. Okay, we have here, no? For example, we have to complete about uh, the correct information. For example, we have here Heather, right? You have here Heather. Heather says that her favorite food is nachos. How often does, does Heather eat uh, nachos? Once a week, right? And we know we go here, this is Heather. You know what's Heather's favorite food? Nachos. How often does she eat nachos? It says on this part, once a week. Yeah, you got information from this part. Now, let's talk about Jason. How or what can you say about Jason? Hmm? What do you think? Dumplings. Aha, uh -huh. Dumpl what is, yes, what is a... Jason's favorite food? You told me, right? Dumplings. Dumpling. Okay. Excellent. How often does Jason eat dumplings? Four or five times a month. Oh, very good. No, we can say here four or five times a month. Okay. Four or five times a month, right? That's the information about JSON, no? And you can find information there. Now, what about Carlos? What's Carlos' favorite food? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna write here ice cream. Okay, how often does Carlos eat ice cream? Three, Three times, times a month. month. Mm -hmm. Three times a month, right? Excellent. Very good, students. You're doing very well. Times a month. Excellent. Now, what about Olga? What is Olga's favorite food? Pancakes. 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 Mm, excellent, right? Pancakes. How often does Olga eat pancakes? Two. Three times, three times a month. Two or three? Three. Oh, yeah. No, the answer is three times a month. Yes? 
Okay, now let's see the answer. We have the answers on this part. Profe, pero ah. aquí dice two or three times a month. Oh, yeah. I was about to tell you about this, right? It says two or three. Oh, it means that I have to change here, right? I have to write two or, yeah, two or three times a month. This should be the correct answer. Yeah, okay. Now you have the answer in this part. Let me see. Now the letter D says, imagine that you have one foot in part A, not right now. Which foot do you want? Why? Okay. You have to choose. You have to choose. What is for you? What do, what do you want if you, if you have now this food on a table? If you had dumplings, nachos, ice cream, and pancakes, what do you choose? Okay. Excuse me, Wanka, Angeli. What do you choose? What do you want? Uh, ice cream. Okay, you say, I want ice cream, okay? I want ice cream. Mm -hmm. I love South Korea food. <laughs> ah, but South Korean food, yeah, sabemos que te encanta Korea, pero South Korean food, are you sure, Wanka? No. Okay. I love, for example, you can say the, the flavor. I love what? 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 What ice cream do you like? A strawberry ice cream, um, a chocolate ice cream. What's your favorite? I love chocolate chip ice cream. Mm -hmm. They are my favorite, right? They're I is my favorite. Excellent, great, very good one. I Y yes, también quiere decir I love BTS. Ok, no problem. Puedes decirlo, Wanka. No problem. Ok. Yeah. Now, please, another student. Tell me who is here. Camila Martel, Hidalgo Martel. Ok. Tell me. If you, if you have those, what do you choose, Camila? Um, I want pancakes. I love I love in breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, I love breakfast are my favorite. Okay, they are my favorite. Excellent, Hidalgo. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's go to the next part. What do we have here? Let me see. Yeah, we have here listening. Yeah, we have here listening. It says something here. A meal in Sweden. Listen to Olga describe a typical meal in Sweden. Which meal does she talk about? Check. Okay, it's the correct answer. What meal does Olga talk about? She talk about breakfast. She talk about uh, lunch or dinner. Okay, you're going to listen, please. And then you're going to tell me your answer. Yeah. Okay. Pay attention. Page 73, exercise two, listening. A meal in Sweden. Hi, Matt. Oh, good morning, Olga. How's it going? Good, thanks. Let's have some breakfast before class. Okay. Olga, you're from Sweden, right? What's a typical breakfast in Sweden? Well, one very important food is bread. Do you put anything on the bread? Yes, we do. We usually have it with butter or cheese. What about pancakes? Swedes love pancakes, but we hardly ever eat them for breakfast. We usually eat them after dinner, for dessert. What other food is typical for breakfast in Sweden? Swedes also eat cereal and eggs for breakfast, and a lot of fruit. How healthy! Oh, it is. It sounds like a lot of food. Well, hotels sometimes have big buffets, but we usually eat a small breakfast at home. Then we have a light lunch and a big dinner. Okay, now please tell me, students, 
what food are they talking about? What meal, sorry, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. Breakfast, mm -hmm. breakfast professor. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Excellent, right? They are talking about breakfast, breakfast, right? So we have to check here on breakfast, okay? Check on breakfast on your books. Now, we have here the next part. It says, listen again, circle the words you hear. Okay, you're going to circle each word, every word that you hear. For example, they talk bread, no, what else? Yeah, you have to, you have to circle the whole word. Okay, the whole word, sorry. Uh, now, remember, uh, they're talking about uh, breakfast in Sweden, right? In Sweden, in Suecia, Sweden, okay? Now, let's listen, please. Page 73. Exercise 2. Listening. A meal in Sweden. Hi, Matt. Oh, good morning, Olga. How's it going? Good, thanks. Let's have some breakfast before class. Okay. Olga, you're from Sweden, right? What's a typical breakfast in Sweden? Well, one very important food is bread. Do you put anything on the bread? Yes, we do. We usually have it with butter or cheese. What about pancakes? Swedes love pancakes, but we hardly ever eat them for breakfast. We usually eat them after dinner, for dessert. What other food is typical for breakfast in Sweden? Swedes also eat cereal and eggs for breakfast, and a lot of fruit. How healthy! Oh, it is. It sounds like a lot of food. Well, hotels sometimes have big buffets, but we usually eat a small breakfast at home. Then we have a light lunch and a big dinner. Okay, now please tell me what words uh, you hear. Hmm? Pancakes. Okay, yeah, pancakes. Cheese. 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 Great, what Cheese. else? Cereal. Cereal. Mm -hmm. What else? Fruit. 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 Mm -hmm. Fruit. What else? Eggs. Eggs. Egg. Great, eggs. Is there any more food? Yes, or that's all? What do you think? More food or that's all? Mm -hmm. I think that's all, right? Yeah. Bread, cheese, cereal, eggs, fruit, and pancakes. Now, it says writing a typical meal. Think of a typical meal in your country. Answer the question. Okay, let's think about uh, Peru, okay? What is a typical uh, meal in Peru? For example, what do people drink in Peru? What is common in Peru for drink, for drinking? Hmm? What do you ask when you want to drink? Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me some ideas. Some ideas. Soda. Okay, yeah, soda could be, what else? More, more ideas, please. I want to, I want to, different opinions here. What else is typical? It's typical for a breakfast or for, for a, a typical drink in Peru. Hmm? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Just soda? Are you sure? 
what do you think? For example, when you go to a restaurant, no? What, what uh, do restaurants usually suggest, suggest you for, 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 for drink? Hmm? What do you think? Just soda, are you sure? Really sure? Okay. What about chicha morada? It's not typical from Peru. Yeah, when you go up to a place, yeah, they say, hey, you can you can have it with, with your chicha morada, right? With a soft drink. For example, if you go to the jungle, si te vas a la selva, what's very common? Aguajina, right? Cocona. Okay, what else? No? Uh, in Wanugo, for example, in Wanugo, it's common too. Aguaymanto, right? You go to a restaurant. If, even in, in the, you go to eat, to a, you, you go for eating a pizza, no? And they have on the menu for, for drinks, they have camu camu, right? Soft drinks. Yeah, they, they are kind of typical, no? At home, what do you drink at home? Sometimes lemonade, yeah, that's right, no? Or for example, in Wanuko, you go to a, uh, for example, to the country, no? You go to a typical restaurant, they offer you chicha de jora, no? Yeah, there are some uh, uh, typical drinks that you have here, no? Right, okay, yeah, we can add here soda, lemonade, no? Chicha morada, maybe, chicha de jora, uh, camu camu, aguaymanto, etc. No, even if you if you are on the jungle, de, de pronto aquí hay algún alumno que vive en la selva, no? Como lo tengo en otros salones que son de Moyobamba, de Pucalpa, de Tarapoto. Uh, my God, por ahí, delicious, muy buena comida y muy buenos, muy buenas bebidas. Okay, ya. Yeah. What do people eat? What do people eat, for example? A green chicken. At, at, at any meal, for example, if it's, oh, sorry, sorry for my dogs. Sorry for my dogs. Yeah, if, for example, uh, something that never, never miss or, or all um, that you eat a very, very often, for example, is rice, right? Yes or no? Peru is a país bien arrocero, no? Chicken. Yeah, you you have rice and you have chicken, verdad? Yeah, this never. Every everyone everyone in Peru eat rice, chicken, no? Fish, fish, fish. maybe, right? Yeah, fish. No, si estás en la sierra, tu truchita bien rica, no? Si estás en la selva, tu doncella, right? Beans, beans. Yeah, beans too is very common, right? Lentejitas, no? It's very common. Lunes de lentejas. No, mamá, no me gustan las lentejas. Lo siento, este Eduardo, los lunes son lunes de lentejas. Te voy a poner un huevito frito para que no te quejes, no? Yeah, okay, no? We have rice, we have fish, uh, eggs too, right? Yeah, beans, eggs. Uh -huh. We have here the lentejitas, okay? Lentejitas, eggs, right? This is very common in Peruvian meal, okay? Now, do you usually eat some of them? Yes or no? Do you usually eat rice, soda, lemonade, chicha morada, lentejitas? Do you usually eat them? Yes or no? Hmm? Well, you may say, no, teacher, you know como eso, teacher, you know soy de Peru. Hmm? No, right? Yeah, this is very common. Do you usually eat? Yes, I do. No, almost every time. No, casi siempre. Uh -huh. Why? Because uh, for me, I think they're, they are uh, delicious, right? Yes or no? Yeah? Why or why not? Why? I think they are delicious. 
Okay. And healthy too, right? Yeah. If you eat, uh, if you eat, for example, uh, if you eat, for example, lentejitas, eggs, fish, they are, they are healthy. Yeah. Now, it says something here that you have to write about a typical meal in your country. Use the model and your answer in part eight. Okay. For example, now we have here a Japanese breakfast. What is a typical breakfast in, in Japan? No? People in Japan usually drink green tea for breakfast. No? They eat fish, rice, soup, salad, and pickles. No? It's a healthy and delicious breakfast. Yeah? But I don't eat this. Okay, I usually drink orange juice and eat cereal and fruit for breakfast. Okay, this is something uh, about a Japanese uh, breakfast. You can talk or you can do this about a, in a Peruvian breakfast too, right? Así que, esto chicos, les voy a dejar como un segundo homework. ¿Qué es lo que van a tener que hacer? Van a tener que hablar acerca de un eh, desayuno peruano, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo común? ¿Qué es lo que te viene en un desayuno peruano, no? Entonces, eh, vas a tomar como ejemplo esto que tienes aquí y lo vas a redactar en una hojita, ¿ok? En una hojita, o si deseas, lo puedes hacer también en la computadora. Lo redactas en la computadora y lo guardas como, este... Ah, bueno, pero tendrías que hacer un solo PDF, para que me envíes el anterior, que es el del homework, el, perdón, el del libro, el del workbook, y este de acá. ¿Ok? Ya, lo envías en un solo PDF. Now, let's see. What do we have here? What else do we have here? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what's your favorite meal. ¿Ok? It says, no, uh, add two questions about the food, then interview your partner, take notes. Yeah, let's ask, no? For example, we have question. What's your favorite meal? What's your favorite kind of food? How often do you have it? Who makes it? Can you cook it? What do you drink with it? Two more questions. ¿Qué más podríamos eh, agregar aquí? Okay, let's think. A ver, ¿qué más podríamos agregar? Think on two questions. Okay, no questions? Okay, on the chat, you are telling me. Okay, what's your favorite fruit? Very good, uh, Fabiana. You can say, what's your favorite fruit? Yeah, we can ask this question, right? What's your favorite fruit? What else? What else can you ask here? We have to add two more questions. Hmm? Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. We can ask about, for example, do you like Mexican food, right? Yeah, we can ask this question too. So let's start. We are going to interview here on this part, uh, Daniela, Daniela Zapata. You are going to be the interviewed, okay? I'm going to write here, Daniela, and we are going to start the question, the, um, the interview here. Excuse me, Daniela, what's your favorite meal? Uh, my favorite meal is lunch. Lunch, excellent. I'm going to write here, lunch. Okay, let's start with the question. 
Robles, Jean Piero, ask the next question. Say, excuse me, Daniela. Jean Piero. Sí, profesor. Okay, ask the question, please, to Daniela. What your favorite kind of food, Daniela? Um, my favorite kind of food is Italian food. Mm, excellent. Italian food. Great. Now, please, uh, Reyes Javier, ask the next question. Say, excuse me, Daniela, how often? Okay, Reyes, are you there? Hello, Reyes. Sí, profesor. Okay, vamos, Reyes. You're going to ask, say, excuse me, Daniela, how often? A ver. Excuse me, Daniela, what? How often? How often? Do, do you, you have it? Have it. Okay, thank you very much, Reyes. How often do you have it, Daniela? Italian food, how often? Um, I eat it um, twice a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Te das tus antojos twice a month. Excellent, very good. Now, another student. A ver, let me see. Mm. Santa Maria, Jasmine, please, Jasmine, you are going to ask the next question. Say, excuse me, Daniela, who, a ver, Jasmine, hello, Jasmine, are you there? Jasmine, hello, is Jasmine there? Jasmine, hello. Are you there, Jasmine? Where is Jasmine? Hello, hello. Okay, she's not here, I think. Another student. Let me see. Ramirez, please ask the next question to Daniel. A ver, vamos, Ramirez. Say, excuse me, Daniela. Excuse me, Daniela. Who, who makes it? Makes it. Okay. Who makes it, Daniela? Um, sometimes my mom put it, but or I can make it in a restaurant. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Mom, oh, you go to the restaurant, right? Hmm. Okay. Now, next question, please. Uh, another student, who is here? Dionisio. Angelo, please ask the question. Excuse me, Daniela. Can you cook it? Mm -hmm. Can you cook it, Daniela? Um, no, I can't. Mm, okay. No. Excellent. Now let's see the next question. Uh, you are going to ask this. Uh, Torres, please ask the question. Uh, excuse me, Daniela. What do you drink? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I usually um, drink um, with lemonade. Okay, Daniela, can you tell me lemonade? I, I couldn't listen very well. Um, yes, it's lemonade. Okay, lemonade, I guess, right? Sorry. Yeah, the next. Uh, Chambi, please, you're going to ask the next question, Chambi. Say, excuse me, Daniela. Excuse me, Daniela. What do you favorite fruit? Hmm? Um, my favorite fruit is apples. Excellent, very good. Now, a next question, please. Loyola, you ask the next question to Daniela. Say, excuse me, Daniela. 
Um, excuse me, Daniela. Mm -hmm. What's the... You like... You like... Mexican food? Do you like Mexican food? Mm -hmm. Dani, do you like Mexican food? Um, I never eat Mexican food. Oh, yeah, okay. Never, never eat next Mexican food. Okay, excellent. Very good. Those are the answers, students, in this part. Yeah, we talk about, we know more about Daniela. Thank you very much, Daniela. Yeah, now we know more about you. Excellent. You like Italian food. Okay. Well, let's see. We have to continue. We have to go to the next part. And let's go to the verb part now. I have something to assign you today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have here, oh my God, we have here more, more uh, activities, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think we are gonna do this, we're gonna left to work this the next class, yeah? Ya, ya les estoy dejando esto más el writing, así que esto lo vamos a dejar, lo vamos a trabajar la próxima clase aquí. Ya, pero me hacen recordar, me dicen, teacher, eso ahí falta trabajar para trabajarlo aquí. Ya, si no, les voy a terminar dejando esto como homework y no es la idea. Ok. Well, students, I think that's all for today. You did it very, very well. Ya voy a, voy a subir el, el recordatorio del, del homework a su plataforma, ya. Así que just want to say thank you very much. That's all for today. See you the next class. Goodbye, students. Goodbye to everyone.